we think of heart rate, it, it's just pulses, it just beats. By definition, in a simple but strict physical definition, heart rate is just something over time, whether it's distance or uh, frequency of something, it's just over time. In order to measure heart rate, then we have to have some unit of time. Typically, beats per minute. HR is reported typically in beats per minute. A normal heart rate is 60 beats per minute. And now, here's where the interesting part comes in. Heart rate variability is not heart rate. Let's take our example of 60 beats per minute. Well, there are several, but I'm only going to talk about two ways of achieving a heart rate of 60 beats per minute. One would be each beat is separated by one second. And so you have 60 beats in 60 seconds. You would have a heart rate of 60 beats per minute with separation, or technically the interbeat interval, would be equal at one second for all beats. Now, another way that you can achieve a 60 beat per minute heart rate would be if you had, let's say, for example, uh, 30 beats uh, that were separated by 0.9 seconds and 30 beats that were separated by 1.1. When you average them over the 60 seconds, you'll get 60 beats per minute. But the units or the IBIs in between are not the same. The first case would have heart rate variability of zero. All of your IBIs are the same. Your heart would essentially be a metronome, tick, 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 units all the same. If you have variability in those interbeat intervals, you begin to have the makings of what we call heart rate variability. Now here's the surprising thing. It's very, very important. It's foundational really. Um, heart rate variability is good. A healthy heart is not a metronome and does not have equally spaced beats. A normal functioning heart is responsive to respiration. 